Well, welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. Today, as the title says, we're going to be installing a UV water purification light. Um, this thing right here is at a campground, so it's just added precaution. These things, you can use a UV light. You can use a whole house Dalton Rio ceramic filter. It's kind of like a Berkey filter. Both of them will remove 99.99% of all bacteria in the water if there is any. This water's okay. I mean, it's just a, because public's using it, it's just an added precaution to stick it in. I do do some of the uh, spring water for people that um, will put a Dalton Rio uh, ceramic filter in and a UV light. But uh, the way to really hook them up is, of course, this is a one we've done before. It comes into a spin down filter so you can drain it and get a lot of the big, any sediment out. This is a five micron filter than a 20 micron filter. And you want to filter the water as much as you can before it goes through the light because it's, you want to collect the sediment. You're not any, there's no filter that's going to paper filter element that's going to take the bacteria out if there is any. So you want to filter all the sediment out before it goes through the UV light. Uh, uh, stay tuned, I'll show you how to hook this thing up. They're not all that hard. So the first thing we have to do here in order to put install this light, we got to drain this system down because of course we're going to cut into the pipe and we're probably going to mount the UV light right across here so that way we can get to it in the future. And you'll see the first thing we did, I mounted a two by four across the framework and the UV light, this is the UV light tube right here, comes with these plastic clips. I put them in, but you also notice that I have the in and the outflow pointing down. Um, it can go up or down, it doesn't really matter. I point them down just that if you ever need to empty the system, if you have to drain it for winter time for some reason, if they're pointed up, this tube will always be holding water and will freeze. With them pointed down, they will drain down. And the lowest point for the whole thing to drain, of course, is that hose bib all the way at the bottom, right here by the drain tile. We gotta get gravel on that mud yet. But uh, this way it would be able to drain and not freeze and break. Well, you see what I've done. This is the well, the water comes up, goes through the spin down through the two filters. I've cut it here, because now it's gonna come up and go over and go into that fitting. And then it's gonna come out of this fitting and go down to the outflow line. So I've cut them lines, I've been draining it down, and let's start gluing and getting them in. Well, there it is in place. Of course, it comes from the well, goes through the 20 and the five and the 20 micron filter comes up, goes into this end of the UV light, comes out and goes to the house. Now what we've done, we've taken the caps off the ends of it and we gotta put the uh, glass sleeve in and the light bulb and I'll show you how that all goes and how to hook it up to the receptacle right there. Okay, sitting here on the back of the vehicle right now, this is the two plugs. This is the one that goes on the far end. Put an O-ring in there to rest it. This is the one the lamp will come through. This is the porch tube. And try not to touch it with your hands with the oil on it. The uh, actual UV light is this thing. And you definitely don't want to touch it with, the, with your bare hands. And it has, come on here. This is the two little wires that are on the outside. Once this thing's in the tube, you will slide this in that glass tube I'll show you. And you see the four prong plug? That is what plugs into here and then plugs into the wall. Well, this cap will go back on it and then this will plug in. You end up putting one of these silicone rings on here. That's what seals it in the pipe. So let me take it down there and I'll kind of show you how this thing goes together. 
Okay, now this here is going to be your educational lesson for this thing. These things right here, come on, camera, focus up on it, are available in a bunch of different wattage. This is 55 watts. This is a 110 UV tube, but it is for 12 gallons a minute. Um, so when you go to buy one of these things, this has a deep well pump in the tank. It pumps about 10 gallons a minute. So at 12 gallons a minute, it will treat all the water. You can get a cheap one for less than a hundred bucks, but it only treats, it does three gallons a minute. So if you're pumping 10 gallons a minute, but you're only treating three gallons a minute, you're not getting your water cleaned up. So this one does 12 gallons a minute and the pump does 10, so it's covered. So I'm just telling you, you know, when you're looking at Amazon or you're looking at a place to buy one of these things online, compare everything you got to look at the gallons per minute and the wattage you want the highest wattage which is going to be about 55 watts for 110 volt uh, for 110 volts but then you want 12 gallon per minute treatment well here it is and it comes with these plastic clip mounts so it's here protected so what that's for is you can pull this thing out of the wall and you leave some bends in your pipe so it's flexible so the first thing you want to do what happened to my paper towel so this is the quartz tube it comes with one of these and a whole bunch of these little silicone o-rings so what you're going to do is right now slide this in the hole of the uv light so here it is you're going to slide it down Come on, jump up into that thing. Might be a little bit difficult. This is the other end, but it has to jump up into this support collar on the blind end. Got to jiggle it around sometime. Had to put the camera down, but it'll come to right there and stop. Okay, with this bulb, or with the tube placed in here. You will then put the other end nut in and the silicone ring is what's gonna slide in here. So now all you have to do is just screw this on and that will push the silicone ring in and that's supposed to be the seal. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna get the UV light out of here, holding it with something else. I mean, it's really best probably if you buy a brand new pair of clean cotton gloves. When you do this, it'd be a lot easier than trying to hold it with a paper towel or something. Okay, you'll slide this in right here. You'll slide it down inside that quartz tube. And now you're just going to plug this light bulb in the socket, the four prong socket. Well, I guess I'm going to hear something from Patriots United because one of these days I got to remember to bring my tripod all the time. But with this thing in place, all you do is slide it in. And now the rubber boot will come up over it and seal it off. So what you're going to do is slide this bulb in. And then this rubber boot's gonna slide over here just to keep water and moisture. Now, this particular light, now it came with three bulbs in it. You need to change these bulbs once a year. So a year from now, the, the light will still be burning, but it's lost its power and strength. So you have to replace that UV light once a year. So. You can buy extra bulbs, there's no problem with it. You can buy extra quartz sleeves. Best thing to do if you order this thing, write down the company, the product, the length and everything else for it, the model number so that you can order it back from them. But um, this way, this one, this kit here came with uh, three year supply of lights and everything in it. 
Once again, that determines the price when you buy this thing, all the little extras you get on it. Some of them come with just one light bulb. Some of them come with a couple extra tubes and a couple of light bulbs. So you just got to read and figure out what all you're getting for your money. Now this is the hard part. With this thing plugged in, took two screws, mounted this, and then you take the plug, open up the receptacle, and plug it in. And this has to be filled with water before you plug it in. This will get hot during the running and whatnot. It can get to 140 degrees, so it does have to be a little bit away from things. I'll tell you that in the directions. It's not a real big, hard thing, but um, we're going to fill this thing up with water, check for leaks, and see what we got. Well, there it is. It's in place. That's all it amounts to it. Um, kind of squirrely. I hate doing it with all this curve around stuff, but it is what it is. But that's all it is to hook one of these things up. It's just a matter of cut into the line and plumb it in. And the only thing is, is I like making it flexible enough. You can pull that thing off the wall because we don't have enough footage to slide the light bulb in and out without taking it off the mount. But if you have any questions or anything else I can help, like I said, I do phone consultations and video with people for free and I charge to come out and either console or work on you. But as usual, if I can ever help you, let me know. And like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.